What's wrong, Randolyn? You don't, don't like, like him? It. No. Why not? I don't like snakes. He's a sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Look and at that. He's so cute. doing today I don't know let's go along for a ride let's just go for a ride and see what we can get into it's yeah it's rainy it's supposed to be 66 today it's only 41 right now it's wicked early it's I shouldn't be out of bed yet but that's fine so we're gonna drive around we don't know what we're doing we're just gonna do so we'll take you with us So we ended up at a vegan restaurant, really good food. We go here quite a bit. Randall wanted to try the new brunch that they have on their new brunch menu. So yeah, I uh, showed you guys some footage, but because of copyrighted music, it's, you're not gonna hear anything or see anything. So I have to uh, mute that part out, but no, you'll see, but you won't hear, you know what I mean? So now I guess we're heading to an estate sale. So maybe we'll find something cool. So we'll let you know. So we got to this estate sale. What did they require us to do? Either go barefoot or shoe covers. That's a first, so yeah, I'm not taking my shoes off and I'm not wearing their nasty shoe covers because how many people have used them? I don't care. They're maybe on my feet, but no, that's just wrong. So there's an estate sale missed and probably a few hundred dollars we could have spent, but that's their problem, not mine. Now we're at the K&M dealership. Randall wants to go take a look at some stuff and hopefully we don't end up with a jet ski or two, but we'll find out. So we come inside and we found out that they're having a boating event. So instead of Can-Ams, they got Boats everywhere. But this is what I'm interested in right here. I can see that behind the Corvette or even Ramlin's car. <laughs> she doesn't know, but I've actually, um, am talking to the guy about it. She's out doing her thing. I gotta find out how much it is, cause that's what I want right there. That could be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself in so much trouble if I buy this. So we went to the Can-Am dealership and Randlin wouldn't let me buy a jet ski. Why? There's no need for one. She wouldn't let me buy a pontoon boat either. Why? You don't need one either. I need a pontoon boat. It's only $102,000, which is double what our house is worth. But we rent, so what does it matter? Yeah. Yeah, well, I tried. I wanted to get a... I wanted to get a jet ski, but she said no. And did you find anything for your Can-Am? No, because they don't make blue grips for my handlebars. You can either get red or black. How boring. How boring. <laughs> so now we're going to go find some other trouble to get into, so we'll see you in a minute. Randler, where are we now? At an antique mall. Antique mall. So store. There's, huh? Or a store. I don't store. know. I don't know. There's like three of them right here, so we're going to check them out, and we'll see you in a second. Not a bad little store. We got a bunch of booths. Typical antique mall. So, yeah. We got all kinds of different good stuff. But, yeah. So, we're going to check it out and see you in a second. Yeah. Got some old fit in here. Unmarked, unfortunately. But look at all the Pyrex. And Anna is looking for a bunch of these. So, I might have to give her a call right quick. Because these are awesome. That's the set she likes. They got more over here. So, I'm going to have to get a hold of Anna right quick. Why didn't they make a pig one? Instead I know, of right? Instead of chickens. And Randolin just bought three huge piggy banks. But we'll show you those in a minute. So we're in this antique mall and there's this booth. And Randolin says, uh-oh, we're in trouble. I'm like, what? And then she showed me. And I was like, wow. Well, the, the owner of the booth was in there. And there's these three piggy banks. And the lady's like, I got 25 a piece on them. And I said, well, you take 40 for all three? And she said, how about 45? And Randolin said, yes. Funny thing is, is this one was 35, not 25. That was 25, that was 25. So we got all three of them for 45. I looked this one up on eBay. That's a $250 pig. 
as an antique piggy bank. So what? Uh, we're keeping them though. We're not selling them. So we got new pigs. So we came right across the street from another, the other place and we're at this one. And then there's another one across the street. So we're going to go hit that one next. So let's see if we can find anything good in here. So I got to make this quick because they got some guy playing music and a guitar. <laughs> yeah, this is not antique. This is an antique mall. That's not antique, but to each his own. That is cool. It's a bear bench and it's on sale for $1,650 from 2,350. Still above my budget. They got some good stuff here. This is a big, big antique mall. So, Ooh, turtle, $65, dang. Anyways, so yeah, this is more of the, um, how do I put this politely? The upper crust kind of antique mall because they got prices that only a few can afford so we're still gonna look around there are some good deals here somewhere oh Ramlin found something because she's looking for me let's go see what she found what did she found oh a decanter lamp that's pretty cool well we found a couple of things there but I'm not gonna show you because I have to show you when you get home because one of them's special one of them is for Ramlin couldn't pass it up it was only a dollar what did you think of this antique mall, Randall? It was too loud. It was too loud. They had a guy in there singing. The songs were good. The singing, not so much. <laughs> but he was a good guitar player. And it was fun. This was, uh, I, like I said, it's for higher-end clients. Did, did you get that feeling? I don't know what I thought. Yeah, it, they had some really hefty prices. And they were definitely higher-end clients. So now we are literally going to go right across the street because we can. We just came from one that was literally a half a block that way. So that way. Yeah, that way. So we're going to go across the street and see if we can find some more treasures. They got this awesome, really, really awesome truck up here also. I thought that was kind of cool. That's part of the reason why we pulled in here. Love it. So this antique mall we're in is a giant L-shaped building. There's more this way, way down. There's more that way, way down. There's a whole lot that way, way down. We haven't even gone to yet. We've only done one side of one section. It's gonna be a long day in this mall. Look what I found. 100 bucks firm, cause it's worth it. At the butter dish, you got the glasses. Look at there, 150 firm on that one. See what happens when you get glowy glass? <laughs> that's some good money this is a nice booth they got the uh all the willow glass and other stuff and ooh, but i love this stuff and yeah how about buying any of it though because uh, i don't have that kind of money and then they've got this beautiful little nesting hen but 25 dollars i don't think so because that's too much money and plus i'd have to ship it no so, Randall, what'd you think of that one? I'm ready to go home. <laughs> that was a big... That place is bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness, we walked around. We've been here for several hours. I'm antique mauled out. We're going to go find something else fun to do and possibly get some food. So we'll see you in a second. So we were driving around figuring out what to do. We had to get coffee. Because, yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> so we're going to go find out what kind of trouble we can get into. So we'll see you in a second. Oh. What's wrong, Randolin? You don't, don't like, like him? It. No. Why not? I don't like snakes. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Look and at that. Something. He's so cute. So we just got home and we did it again. We got a guami that's going in the 55 gallon tank. And then, oh, oh let me see over here. In this tank, we got five more. We got, oh, you can't see them. <sighs> They're all glowfish. So we got one, two, three, four, five fish. There's one shark in there somewhere. But we got a pink one, a purple one, a green one, an orange one. And there's a shark in there somewhere. I don't know where, I don't see them. Interesting, but there's a shark in there somewhere too. Oh, there he is. He's swimming around right there. So there's a shark also. But that's not the least, that's the least of our troubles. Um, yeah, that's the least of our troubles. We got ourselves into even bigger trouble. <laughs> because, you know, yeah, we went to the antique stores and antique malls. 
But we'll show you that in just a second. We have to get everything ready and we have to get our other trouble set up first. We'll show you in a second. So if you've gotten this far in the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. You also know that we went to the antique malls and thrift stores. Did you have fun rambling? It was a very long day. It was a long day, but we bought some stuff. But that's not where we got in trouble, but we're going to show you what we bought. Randallin got this pig, this pig, and this piggy bank. This one was marked 25, that one was marked 25, and that one was marked 35. And I jokingly told the lady who was in the booth, I said, I'll give you 40 for all of them. She said, how about 45? I was lowballing her, but she took it. So cool, $45, we got all three of those. This one, I told you earlier, retails for like 200 to 250. Because it's, yeah, I looked that one up. Randallin also found these at another antique mall. She got that for a dollar. You can't beat that. And then I found a really fun piece. Let me find it here. Is this juicer. But what's so special about the juicer is I'll show you. Let me turn off my lights. It glows. <laughs> a true piece of uranium glass. Antique uranium glass. So that is a glowy piece. That is my first I've found in a long time. So yeah, that's... Our finds of, but is that where we got in trouble, Randallin? No. No. So if you guys hang on a second, we got to get things set up and then we'll show you how we got in trouble. So we'll see you in a second. So Randallin got herself in trouble. We got a crested gecko. It's so cute, itty bitty little thing. But that's not where we're in the big trouble because the crested gecko is just a lizard, right? Give me a second and I'll show you why I'm in trouble. And I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna keep you in suspense. This is the guami we got. It's so pretty. So yeah, that's still not why we're in trouble because I already showed you this, but I just want to show it to you in the tank. So yeah, oops, it won't focus. Darn fish, it's trying to focus on the background, not the fish. Oh, there we go. Such a pretty fish. It's a guami, that's cool. Yeah, these are the glowy fish. There's one of them. There's a couple back there. They glow pretty. There's the shark we just got. No, that's the uh, algae eater. Never mind. There's the yellow one. So we got glowy fish, but this still isn't why we're in trouble. But I showed you these. So yeah, there's our glowy fish. And there's a shark in there somewhere. He's on the very bottom in the back. Way back there, you can't really see him really well. So yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Should I, should I tell him how I got in trouble? There's the... No, that's the algae eater. There's the shark down here. I think our shark is dead. No, he's just swimming. He's he's still alive. He's just trying to hide. Okay, he's alive. Thought he was dead. So the shark's there, and then all the glowy fish. Should should I show him how we got in trouble, Randallin? <laughs> how, how you got in trouble? How I got in trouble? Yeah. Well, if you've watched the video thus far, Randallin was. Uh... Give me a second. So if you watched earlier in the video, you will see Randallin holding something that she dearly hates. <laughs> I got a ball python! <laughs> and of course I had to call Regular Guy Barbecue because I needed a great name and Regular Guy Barbecue is awesome. He's an amazing man. He said Apollo. So Regular Guy Barbecue, thank you for uh, helping me name my new pet snake Apollo. Randallin is stressing. Look at her. She's freaking out. So of course he gets to stay in my eBay room because Randallin wants nothing to do with him. So make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Look at him in all his glory. So beautiful.